Let's talk about the Greek ABCs, the Greek alphabet that is. The first letter is alpha. Lowercase looks like this. Uppercase, capital A. Second letter is beta. Lowercase, Looks like this. They look pretty similar, don't they? Upper and lower case? Certainly. Third letter is gamma. It's pronounced gamma. Lower case looks like this. It's written that way. Upper case? One, two, three. Down like that. Next letter is delta. Written like that. Uppercase, like so. Epsilon, lowercase, is like this. Uppercase, like a capital E. Epsilon. Then zeta. Zeta. Lowercase, like so. Uppercase, like capital Z. Eta. Lowercase, left leg is shorter than the right leg. Uppercase, like a capital H. Next letter is theta. Well, you mathematicians are familiar with angle theta. Circle with a dash to it. Uppercase, it's a circle with the letter H in it. Oop, I wrote that bad. You have to make that sort of wide to get that H in. Good. There we go. That's theta. Then we have iota. Just looks like an I without a dot in it. Uppercase, capital I. The next letter is kappa. Lowercase, it's so lowercase k. Uppercase, uppercase k. Kappa. Then you have lambda. Once again, mathematicians should have a easy time with this one. We do this a lot. That's lambda, lowercase. Uppercase, anyone can do this. Like so, and like so. Bingo. You can put a little, little feedies on this. And there we go. Pretty easy, huh? Mu. Pronounced mu. It uh, looks like the micro in uh, mathematics. One over a million. Used to designate a millionth. It's the micro. Well, in math. In language, it's the meal. And it's written like so. Uppercase, capital M. It's used to represent one million mega in uh, mathematics. All right, that's it for now. Let's go on to the next session. Well, we say we do one more brief, quick scroll through the entire line Greek ABCs. A quickie: Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, or Zeta. Theta, theta, iota, kappa, lambda, 
mu. And next session we'll do the next half.